craving street tacos. Special guest, who's this guy? Street tacos and Mexican corn is roasted corn. Why a van versus a B plus? And you can see it's quite a bit bigger, right? Toilet to be separate from my shower. It's called an island bed. There's a plenty of storage um, inside and also outside. Uh... So you know how you sometimes get a craving for a particular food item? Today, craving street tacos. But what makes this extra special is we have a special guest. Who's this guy? Kyle, what's up? Say hello to the folks. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so we're headed to a our favorite taco uh, truck uh, to get uh, street tacos and Mexican corn. And I will show you what makes this cool is that we can do it in the van. Um, so we've got stuff uh, to share with you along the way. So don't miss a single minute of this video. Let's go. Okay, we've arrived at the taco truck. So without the camper van, we'd be sitting here in the public area, but with the camper van, we've got plenty of seating for, I don't know, one, two, three, four. Table extension, love this, right? So we're gonna go order some uh, tacos and bring them back into the van. And in case we need to use the toilet, we have one of those too. Let's go. Your choices are quite large here. What we always get is the tacos. And the other thing we get is roasted corn. This is the best corn. Oh my gosh. And then you want it for ground beef? Ground beef and flour I'll too. Flour. Yeah, and then the corn. Uh, placed our order for numeral 9453. And normally what we would do is hang out here, but they uh, shout out the numbers, so it's pretty cool. Um, this is a really great place. I'll put the uh, information down below so you can uh, check it out if you're in the uh, West Palm Beach, Lake Worth, Boynton Beach area. Our number has been called. Thank you. All right. The question is, which is the favorite part, the tacos or the corn? I know. Okay, let's have Kyle unpack us here. All right. And we're going to have a conversation about why a van versus a B plus. Kyle has a B plus. I got a van. Do you know the difference, by the way? Okay, woo, let's talk tacos. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. What is that? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's my uh, ground beef. Your ground beef personal taco. Wait. Where's your other one? And the chicken's in there. Oh, chicken is here. Chicken. Put those here. Okay. That one there. Let me slide this out so you have a little more room. Thank you. Yum. I'm pretty sure it's a lime. Mm. I like flour tortilla. You've kind of gotten used to the corn tortillas, right? Yes, uh huh. Before I used to like the flowers, but now I should get used to the corn. You like the corn? Yeah. Let's uh, have you open this up so we can take a peek at what this looks like. This is why we drive here. Ooh. Mmm. Look at that. So they roast it. And then they slice it off the cob. Then they add uh, Mexican cheese, right? Yeah, Mexican cheese, and some lime, lime, uh, mayonnaise, I believe. So yummy. Yeah, totally pretty good. But we do that the lazy way because they they sell it both ways. They can do a corn on the cob where you um, work work on your own. You work for it. Yeah, work for <laughs> it. Or you can do this. Yeah, we like this part. <laughs> We're gonna share that. And we order a large, and um, it's a lot of corn, so uh, it actually. Corn. Um, uh, for, perfect for both of us. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So Good we're gonna question. have. Let's. Um, do we want to? Uh, I'm gonna have some of my my salsa on it. I'm gonna put some lime on mine because I find that their sauce is a little too spicy for me. Okay. You want your limes? Uh, please. Oh, you do want to squeeze yeah, on there? Sure. Why not? Just oh. normally. No, I do not. But okay. I'll venture out a little bit. Face your fears. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to get, and this is a great thing about eating in your van versus out there, uh, is I want a different kind of sauce. So I'm going to get my salsa verde. Can you open that for me? Yes. Oh, it was a beautiful day. Um, perfect, too, actually. 
But um, uh, well, what we want to do is have a little chat about B van versus B plus. Uh, you can have my yep. yep Good I'll job. <laughs> Teamwork. Because we um, are kind of weird to have his and here's RVs. Uh, so let's have a bite, Kyle, and um, then we'll take a minute, and then we'll put this up here, and we'll ask you why you like your big rig versus uh, Lily. Okay, let's have a bite. Sure. I'm doing ground beef first, I think. I'm doing a chorizo. Mm. Let's know if you prefer flour tortilla or corn. Okay. Ow. 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 Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, let's have a bite of this corn. It looks pretty good. Hmm. So hot. Especially made. I know. Hmm. So the question we want to ask Kyle, because um, he has a very different kind of rig than I drive. Um, I have a traditional Class B RV. It's a van, so everything inside of my RV is inside the skin of the of the camper van, of the van, Prem West, uh, Promaster van. But the rig Kyle has is a Regency RV. Um, you can, they're no longer in business, unfortunately, but if you think of leisure travel van, it's a cutaway chassis on a Sprinter a chassis. So they have the, the chassis onto um, which they mount a big fiberglass box that has more amenities and what have you in it. So Kyle, maybe just for the folks, kind of explain while we munch on tacos, uh, why you chose your kind of RV versus Something like Lily, my van. Well, I think um, everybody have their own preference, and I, I chose my van uh, based on um, what two things I need is um, I need a um, my bathroom toilet to be separate from my shower, and then the first thing I need to look for is that it needs to be separate, and that uh, my rich CRV um, gave me that um, option. So again, the difference is there's a separate space with a door for the shower, and then there's a separate room with a door for the toilet and sink. And that's technically called a dry bath. So right. the shower is separate from the uh, van, uh, the toilet. And in my situation, all three of those are in the same room with a door, it's called a wet bath. So that was a big deal for me. Yeah, that was a very big deal for me. Um, the second thing, the bed. Um, I want a bed to be able to, um, to climb in and out on either side. Um, if you have two people sleeping in that bed, then you have to climb over each other. Um, but I mainly, it's, um, I want to be able to just like um, a better home. I'm used to a couple of better homes that you can climb in and out uh, and either, either side without uh, climbing over people. And that technically is called an island bed because the bed is in the middle of the room. And actually on his case, he's got nightstands on either side. So bed, you can get out either way to go use the restroom in the middle of the night, not climb over people. Um, my bed's back here, it's currently, a, it's a Murphy bed, it's currently folded up, but if two people are sleeping back there, you have to climb over each other to get out and get to the bathroom, so that's a huge yeah. comfort factor for you. Correct. And the third thing is storage. Um, there's a plenty of storage um, inside and also outside. Um, I want to be able to carry a my scooter, electric, electric scooter, that falls down, um, but I, I wanted to, uh, able to store store the scooter so wherever I travel I can pull my scooter out and um, and uh, just kind of uh, ride with it around but the main thing is it had to be inside but not inside the brick but it's inside the car kind of like a trunk uh, because I don't want to sit outside because then I have to worry about people stealing it right huge, huge deal right yep. or, or get abused by the sun you know or, or get <laughs> or dirty rain or rain etc yeah so those are um, several big reasons. We've done a, 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 a van tour of his rig. It's 2021 Regency RV Ultra Brome. We'll put that right here. And we have a new video coming up kind of comparing the sizes of those things we just talked about between this B van and a B plus cutaway chassis. So I don't want to miss that video. How's your tacos? Mm, tacos are pretty good. And let, let us know them. again what kind of tacos you like. Yeah. One of the greatest things about having an RV with you is your toilet is always with you. Mm. There's no toilet here. Excuse me. That is much better. Let me wash my hands. All right, with that, we are going to 
secure the cabin for departure and head back to home base. We really appreciate you joining us for lunch and have you think through uh, what kind of RV, a compact RV, a van where everything's inside the skin of the van or a cutaway chassis where this is all a box that the manufacturer outfits and then places it on the chassis. If you're not familiar with that, look up Leisure Travel Vans and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, we'll do trash duty here. Kyle, we're securing the cabin for departure. Would you mind closing the window, please? Oh, <laughs> no nature's air conditioning. No probably mo. Oh, you're using we're going to Espanol. I uh, see. Ah. Okay, turn that off. And with that, we go. Great. So here we are. This is Kyle's rig, known as Reno. This is a good comparison, nose to nose. And you come around the side and you can see it's quite a bit bigger, right? And I think one of the best views of the difference is the rear end. Rear here, rear there. Pretty big difference. Kyle, thanks for joining us for lunch today. Appreciate that. Of course. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Watch for the video on this coming very soon because it's a big difference. It's a big decision and it's big money. We want to help you make the right decision. Until we see you soon, we like to say journey on and peace be with you. Cada día. Yo sé